good problem here, okay? We're going to put here uh, mu k is uh, 0.3. I'm going to put here along the incline, uh, along the flat road, mu k is 0.2. Okay? And then along the circular path, I'm going to put, instead of giving you the mu k over there, I'm going to give you the average uh, f k. The average f k is, uh, the magnitude of the average f k is, uh, let's say, 15 newtons. And then the spring constant of the spring, right? The spring constant of the spring, let's say this is a pretty hard spring, so let's make it 500 newtons per meter. And then you can let this go, let go of this, and then this will come, go like that, go around, comes, hits the spring, the spring compresses, and then, of course, the cycle will continue, right? The, uh, the spring will shoot the block back out, goes around, the block goes, goes up. Does it go to the same height? No, if there's friction, it eats away from the energy, right? So uh, it, it probably goes, goes, maybe stops here, then comes back down, and maybe by the time the second time around, it doesn't have enough energy to make it through the circle, right? Or even if it does, it goes around, hits the spring, but it doesn't compress it as much this time. So then you can go back, go, then it goes, doesn't go as much, then it goes, eventually it's going to stop somewhere. That would be a good extra credit question, like a take-home extra credit question. Where does the block stop at the end? Okay. You want me to guys give you guys that question? Okay, bring the solution tomorrow by 1.30. Okay, my class starts, oh, you, some of you have lab, right, tomorrow? Yeah, okay, so where does it stop? For fun, you know, give you a little challenge here at the end. Where, where's the stopping point of the uh, block? That wouldn't be a test question because, oh, it's going to take a while to solve that, <laughs> okay? Okay, so some of you already started on that. <laughs> so, okay, you're not going to listen to anything else I say the rest of the time. Okay, just that's it. You're going to work on that. Uh, okay, so let's see here. I could ask a couple questions here. I could say, what is the minimum height H I need so that this thing barely uh, makes it around the circle, right? Okay, so let's say you find that out, but then actually maybe at the, uh, after you find that out, you don't want the block to barely make it around the circle, right? You want to put, you want the block to go around and go, instead of barely folding here, you want the block to go, uh, to experience a better velocity there, right? So we can ask uh, this kind of question. What is that block so that makes, uh, to, so that the uh, block makes it around the circle? Okay, I guess we can say here, what is H min? Okay, B, then we can say, what if the height is twice that? Let's say, once you design, once you design this thing, you want to make the height twice that. So, if H equals twice H min, then what will be the velocity of the block at the top of the circle? Right? So this block is going to come like this. This is like a revolution type ride. It's going to go like this. It's going to go around like that, right? And then it's going to show what's the velocity they're going to be. And then C, by the time it goes around and hits the spring, 
how much is it going to compress the spring? Okay. How much will it compress spring? Okay. So that, those are good, some good questions we can ask there. So what is the H min so that block makes it? So let's start par day. Again, we're going to ask, uh, we're going to do the work energy theorem. Work total is changing kinetic energy. I'm going to assume here that the initial velocity is zero. OK. And uh, the work uh, total. So work total, this time we have no work uh, by a force. There's no external force pulling this, like the force of the engine in the last problem. So in this case, it's just coming down due to the weight of gravity. So the only uh, forces doing work are work of gravity along the incline. Then friction is doing work along the incline. We can, I could put FK1. Then work of friction along the uh, flat surface, FK2. Then I could put work of friction along the uh, circle. Uh, now in part A, in part A, I'm only going to worry about the uh, work of half the circle as it goes up, right? So work of uh, half a circle, or let's just put it this way, mu, mu, mu of fk, uh, half circle. And that's it. That's the only forces doing work. Gravity is doing work while it's falling. Friction is doing three times uh, work. So that is going to equal half mv final squared. And mv initial is 0. OK? OK, so what's the work done by gravity now? So here we go piece by piece. As it comes down, the work of gravity is mgh. That's all gravity worries about. Plus, actually, work of friction is always negative, right? Uh, for car friction, that's going to be, uh, you know what, let me actually put in the, the stuff here. MGH, so M is equal to 2. G is 9.8 times H minus uh, the work of the friction along the incline. That's going to be mu K, so 0.3 times the normal force. So what's the normal force along the incline? MG. Starts with C, cosine, always, OK? Mg cosine, so uh, that's M, G, cosine of, uh, oh, I need to give you the angle here. 40 degrees, so cosine of 40, OK? And then what? So that's the work of the along the incline. Then the work along the flat road would be Minus 0.2 times what's the normal force along the flat road? Uh, then it's just mg, right? Along the flat road here, the n, the n, the mg, they're equal. Okay. Along the incline, the normal force equals mg cos theta. Here, the normal force equals mg. So we just put 0.2 times mg. OK, so that one is this one. And then the work of friction along half the circle. Well, the force of friction is given as average value 15. So negative 15 times, OK, the distance along half the circle is the half the circumference, right? Uh, oh, I do need to give you one other info here. I need to give you the radius of the circle. Well, how big a circle is this? OK, so I can give you here, let's say, a 50 centimeter circle, OK? So if I want to know the distance of half the circle, it would be pi r, right? Uh, no, I let me write it as r. The radius is uh, 0.5 meters. So the distance of half a circle is pi r, because this whole circle is 2 pi r. 